and in sports, the Lagos State Sports Commission has expressed satisfaction with the performance of its athletes to the just concluded 2023 National Youth Games in Asaba. The commission also called for a greater collaboration between the Federal Ministry of Sport, the School Sports Federation, the NSSF and the Ministry of Education to uphold the integrity of the Games. Lagos State finished in second place behind host Delta State at the Games, but the commission values the athlete's performance higher than the position. Yes, we have come second with this second place trophy right here beside me. But in terms of our sports developmental goals, in terms of um, our ambitions and the consistency of the efforts delivering results uh, so far, that um, we, we believe we won. With the integration of young athletes from the private and public schools, Lagos hopes to build on the talent potentials for higher sports glory for the state. The collaboration between the Ministry of Education the public and the private schools proprietors is fast yielding a positive result. Using very young, very, very young children, it just demonstrates that as far as the future, immediate future is concerned, we have enough medalists and performers who can take us to the next level and whose uh, silvers and bronze, uh, bronzes can translate very easily to, the, to gold in the, in the nearest future. Like it happens in the state, the officials of the Sports Commission, led by its chairman, calls for a stricter database and synergy with the Nigeria School Sports Federation, NSSF, the Ministry of Sports and Education, in addition to the use of the NIN to curb the age problems associated with the youth games. I think it's important that the, that the Ministry of Youth and uh, Ministry of Sports uh, works with the NSSF, the National School Sports Federation, and with the National uh, with, with the Ministry of Education. With the involvement of the Ministry of Education and the six education districts, we got the right children, not the mercenaries that were invoked before. And by the time you know it, the confidence came. Lagos young athletes are now to enjoy certain privileges to motivate higher performance and serve as ready pool for bigger sporting events. Starting from January 1st, these athletes will consistently get grants to enable them to attend training on a daily basis and get involved in any sporting activities or competitions they need to attend. Finishing in second place, Lagos recorded 21 gold, 19 silver and 21 bronze medals behind winners Delta State, while Edo State came third. <laughs>